Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of December 6th, 2021. As the year draws to a close, we've been looking back on our 2021 episodes and we found some that were just hanging out there sadly at the bottom of the download tally. We're going to highlight some of our favorite least listened to episodes of 2021 in what we're calling Lovable Loser Week. Today's victim, Family Performance Reviews. Today, we are handing out performance reviews. It's that time of the year. (laughs) We'd like to to sit you down and... Yes. Can you come into my office for a minute? Let you know how you have been performing within this family structure. Um, (laughs) Today's topic actually comes from uh, an article in The Guardian. You want to give uh, Missy her performance review now? Yeah, you know, she, yeah, we all know where Missy stands. (laughs) She's she's on her way out the door, this one. Um, (laughs) Is there a note in her file? Yes, lots of, lots of black marks next to her name. Um, (laughs) So this comes from uh, a piece in the, in The Guardian uh, by Emma Beddington. And she talks about, you know, we've been at home for a year, we've all been working at home for a year. So why not give the family a performance review for the past year <laughs> of being at home, working together, living together. And one of the ways she suggested doing that was, you know, framing this performance review in uh, what they call a praise sandwich. So for example, (laughs) she says to her family, so I've been really impressed this year by the career development you have done on lunch. Great work. This year, let's aim towards also maybe turning off the hob after use. (laughs) I'm not sure what the hob is. I think it's the burner on the stove. (laughs) Okay. But the three tins of chickpeas, two packets of microwave rice and tablespoon of cumin was amazing. Mm -hmm. I need the recipe. So she started off by saying something positive, did a great job with your lunch. And then she was like, (laughs) but turn the burner off and then (laughs) followed it up with a compliment on the recipe. I don't know if I would be so kind in in the two ends of the sandwich, the two (laughs) sides of the sandwich. But yeah, it's been a struggle. So... My question to you both is if you were to give your family a performance review, what would you say? How would you review them? How did they perform this past year? Were they up to standards? (laughs) Well, I have one that I would put on a performance improvement plan for their incessant talking and singing to themselves. Uh huh. Um, This is not conducive to a productive work environment for the rest of us right so I might say you know I appreciate your your musical talents yes good start (laughs) uh need to work on appropriate time and place for um sharing them with Mm -hmm. the family the world (laughs) and then what would you follow up with you're really good at cleaning (laughs) Yeah, I, I'd have to think about that. That's mm-hmm. the hard part. Yeah. I'd also give just, you know, unmitigated praise to the Roomba and the dishwasher for just really going <laughs> above and beyond the call of duty in this in this our time of need. Yes. <laughs> they have both been working very, very hard. So Aww. they deserve they deserve a bonus or a raise of some kind. I would have to add the front the front door to that because it keeps opening and closing for our delivery services. <laughs> <laughs> the ring doorbell for alerting you when there's yes. packages. Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. My ring doorbell. Special commendation. How about you, Terry? <laughs> what would you what what kind of performance review would you give hmm. your family? Well, we've had kind of a banner year here at Morrow Industries. <laughs> and uh, people have been been rising and taking on new responsibilities, uh, you know, of their own volition and doing an excellent wow. job at delivering. So, okay. you know, uh, uh, extra high rating and a patch to sew on their uniforms to my son and husband for making my lunches, making mm-hmm. my breakfasts. Um, and just generally, you know, being there if I need a cup of tea or anything at all. 
everybody's been out to help mom. And I think that is super de duper wonderful. And awesome. I have nothing bad to say about it. They're doing, you know, above and beyond what I would have expected them to do. And now, of course, they've set that as a standard. So this year, <laughs> if they don't keep it up, <laughs> we may have a different conversation. But uh, And my daughter has been really, really good about taking her brother places so that I don't have to. Also, mm-hmm. just wonderful. You know, she'll take him when oh. he goes to volunteer at the food pantry. She gets up early because he has to go early. Well, she she's already up early, but... You know, sometimes they'll just knock on my door. I'll still be in bed and say, hey, we're going. And she'll take him there. She'll take him to work if she's not working. Um, Mm -hmm. That has also been really, really helpful. So human members of Moro Industries, excellent work. Uh, I would like to, however, have an uncomfortable discussion in my office (laughs) with you, Internet. (laughs) Um, You know, the Internet provision has not been seamless Mm -hmm. this year, a year we most need it. There's Mm -hmm. been lots of slowness. There's been lots of just outages for no particular reason, just because you're feeling, you know, you got something on your mind. You want to play with your phone. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, got troubles at home we need to discuss? Uh, We expect better service from you or else, you know, we'll have to have a chat about uh, making a change. Right. Um, Perk up. You can do better. (laughs) Wow, but it sounds like I really need your business model for the um, the employee situation. <laughs> yeah, three out of four ain't bad. <laughs> exactly. Well, <laughs> in my home, my employees have taken the concept of remote work very seriously <laughs> because <Uh-oh. laughs> I don't see them all day. They literally hold themselves up remotely in their various rooms in the house and aside from draining the resources <laughs> I I do not <laughs> I don't see them so I I do have to say that you know they are dedicated to their craft however they are like I said draining the the resources of the <laughs> of the household <laughs> <laughs> And that, you know, I, I don't see them all day. I don't see them all night. I don't know if they exist. I I assume <laughs> they do. I hear their voices. And and you're saying this is a bad thing? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not seeing the problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the problem is, is that they they come out for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes at a time, grab the food, grab uh-huh. the coffee, grab, you know, whatever it is, put dirty clothes in the laundry and then disappear. Mm-hmm. So ah. it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's And like they don't very... bring you a snack while they're out. No. Right? Are they're you not bringing me? you Everybody, lunch and every... coffee and breakfast? Yeah. There's no I collaboration. The so I, I don't really like the level of collaboration that's happening. There's no teamwork going on. <laughs> silos. Everybody's um, in their own everybody's silo. Everybody's in their here. silo. Exactly. You know, whereas I prefer an open concept workspace <laughs> <laughs> with everybody participating and everybody being team members. <laughs> I'm getting like Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist flashes here, Catherine, <laughs> yep. of everybody in Nicole's family doing a little musical number in their big open plan office. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> After they partake of the cereal bar. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. And then, yeah, so then, and then, you know, after hours, after work hours, I mean, they do, they do make an appearance for a little while, but it's a very minimal interaction. So I'm, I'm really getting, in, in terms of like the environment, I'm getting minimal, you know, minimal hmm. uh, performance. But on their own and in their own little world, they're doing great. So <laughs> happy for them. <laughs> but I think we could collaborate more. <laughs> yes. So you know, things that are going and, well and things that need work. That's that's the way we do the review, right? And you know who would be in my office for the conversation? <laughs> the one who's always in my office. The one I can't who's always get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> but also not remote from you in a off in a silo see no no glued to my side <laughs> so That's mixed messages constant. here mom i know i'm right? here i will see i, I have leave rules you alone. for the humans rules for the animals <laughs> <laughs> well we'll Sigh. have to come back later and see how our 
our staff did after being informed of their <laughs> performance review and hope that our company doesn't have 360 reviews where they review us too. I know. <laughs> that might be bad. <laughs> Thanks for listening to today's lovable loser tomorrow we'll share another forgotten favorite in case you missed it and we know you